Hey Prasad, good morning. How are you? Uh, good morning, sir. I'm fine, yeah. sir. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Prasad, thank you for joining us today. And uh, first of all, uh, congratulations for your uh, appointment as a design engineer in the EV development firm. So well deserved, and you have worked okay. hard for this. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. So um, Prasad, this is your first job in the EV domain after your course at Skilling. So let's talk about uh, your journey. So to start with, uh, could you tell us which course did you enroll and why? Uh, uh, sir, actually I am uh, enrolled in Master in HEV course, uh, 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 our uh, skilling. When I just starting uh, as a uh, uh, EV course, I am really interesting uh, career as a uh, career in EV domain. So that's why I am uh, enrolled in this course. Thank you. So uh, Prasad, could you describe your experience with the coursework? Maybe share a few words on the course content, uh, maybe the exercises, challenges, uh, uh, and the assessments. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, when I started this course, I have really fundamental knowledge of SolidWorks and CAD. So okay. I'm uh, really interested in getting a job as a designer in EV domain. Uh, okay. In SkillLink, I learned core core me mechanical analysis and electrical domain. This course yeah. uh, content is awesome. If I am starting basic knowledge of engineering uh, after completion, I'm really proficient in particular software. Okay. So my experience is really awesome. Okay, so yeah, so from what you're saying, what I understand is like even before you started the course, you had a preference for design and you specifically specialized in design. Would that be correct? Uh, yes, actually, uh, uh, I'm started with designing fundamental knowledge, but okay. uh, after completion of this course, I have really confident in mechanical analysis as well and ele electrical power domain, uh, building an electrical power domain as well. Right, yeah, I think your uh, placement justifies that. Well done. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. uh, this is really justified. Okay, so uh, Prasad, what is your ex uh, experience with the technical support team? I see you have worked in more than five courses and closely with several of our technical engineers from the electrical domain and mechanical domain. So what is your experience with them? When I'm doing this course, uh, I have uh, uh, getting some uh, difficulties uh, in uh, particular topics or uh, whatever. Uh, so uh, technical support uh, team helps me a lot to uh, uh, clarifying my doubts uh, uh, through multiple ways like uh, phone calls and uh, what's, uh, WhatsApp group and technical uh, support session and uh, via, uh, via support mail. So uh, right. after this way, uh, I have uh, clarified my doubts. Thanks, Prasad. So um, you said that you had fundamental knowledge in design and could you let us know what do you think was missing uh, in your college experience and what, how do you think skilling helped you bridge that gap? Uh, in, in my undergrad, uh, I have learned, learned theoretical knowledge. Uh, uh various topics like uh, strength of material and all these subjects but uh, i have really uh, uh, the in my college is really missing practically uh, practically oriented knowledge like mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh mechan how to uh, analysis in software and uh, multiple uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, analysis for uh, software so i'm i'm really don't know about uh, what is uh, cae what is yes. matlab and uh, all this so uh, uh, so that is major missing uh, if okay. i'm doing uh, i'm do, uh, doing the, uh, uh, this course uh, uh, through my uh, undergrad then it helps me uh, then helps me uh, a lot to uh, getting a, a, a perfect job thanks prasad prasad uh, could you just uh, share with us the, your experience with the skilling project. So, with having done a lot of courses, I'm sure you would have got a, a lot of. I see a lot of projects in your portfolio. So, could you describe your experience in uh, doing many projects at skilling? Uh, yes. So, is each course uh, I have got uh, working on major projects or in, uh, industrial oriented projects like mm -hmm. uh, crash worthiness analysis uh, in frontal cra side crash and roof crash analysis. So uh, and in LS China, uh, head impact analysis, first strike simulation uh, mm -hmm. in MATLAB, building a electric vehicle power train. Uh, mm -hmm. So this helps me a lot to getting depth of knowledge in uh, mm -hmm. depth of knowledge, particular topics and understanding how's the industrial uh, projects done. Right. Thanks, Prasad. So let's talk about your current job. So how relevant is your current job uh, with your studies at Skilling? Uh, so uh, in uh, in my working, uh, this course content is uh, really helps me 
to uh, working uh, working in uh, uh, as uh, in job uh, this uh, designing uh, designing uh, designing cad particular uh, designing uh, uh, a particular options is really he- uh, help helps me to uh, designing uh, in particular models and mm-hmm. building a, a working is really good okay right so could you describe the interview process what was asked in the interview and uh, how did you get through this uh when i uh, when i attend the interview i feel uh, i feel uh, very confident because i have uh, depth of knowledge in as per job profile okay. uh, and earlier uh, in earlier i have uh, facing uh, i have uh, getting multiple uh, mock interviews so i am really confident with the, uh, with uh, technical uh, technical and uh, hr hr role. Right. So yeah, I see that you have done at least 15 mock interviews internally at Skilling, and uh, you have worked with the career team for several months. Uh, so would you mind sharing your experience with working with the career team, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, so technical uh, customer success uh, helps me, uh, especially uh, uh, Navin sir, is uh, really helped me to building a technical my technical knowledge. and how to uh, how to facing interviews how to how uh, my difficulties uh, difficulty resolving uh, so uh, all these uh, difficulties uh, uh, this uh, through uh, mock interviews i have uh, getting really confident thanks prasad so uh, we said we have completed the many courses in the mhg program and uh, was there a time that you felt you applied for many opportunities and you did not get and was there a time you wanted to give up and uh, how did you overcome that Oh, uh, uh, sometimes I really, uh, I'm really uh, uh, going to uh, uh, give up, but uh, give up. But uh, the course content is, uh, I'm just doing this course, uh, and uh, once I completing, compl- completing and uh, 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 searching the job, I'm, uh, I'm really attaching for this course. Even, okay. even, even also, I'm, uh, I'm uh, hel- helps me through a skilling. Thanks, Prasad. So, overall, with your experience and skilling, what do you think is the biggest takeaway for you personally? Oh, uh, personally, I have really recommended for this uh, skilling because uh, this uh, skilling is uh, helps me to building my career as well, uh, to mm-hmm. getting depth in knowledge on particular uh, modeling and working uh, designing in a EV domain. So, this course really helps uh, helps me uh, uh, to building a career. Thanks, Prasad. Uh, Prasad, if there is anything that you want to share with the fellow skilling students or uh, a general advice for mechanical engineers, what it would be? Uh, so, uh, if you are uh, pursuing under graduation or uh, mag- uh, graduation, so uh, this skill, uh, this skilling course is really uh, helps you to uh, getting the job after your okay. completion of under graduation. So you can uh, doing this co- uh, course. Uh, 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 with your under graduation so this is really go- uh, this is really good thank you very much prasad thanks for joining and yes, we sir. look forward to seeing you amazing stuff in your company uh, doing amazing designing electric vehicles thanks for joining today